In this demonstration, we're going to look at configuring client connectivity options. So the first thing we're going to do is we've launched up Exchange Management Shell. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get some information relating to the client connectivity settings within Exchange Server 2016. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look and figure out exactly what the MAPI virtual directory is on server lon ex1. So what we're going to do here is in Exchange Management Shell, we're just going to issue the commandlet to get information relating to the MAPI virtual directory. And we're going to do that by issuing the command let get hyphen mappy virtual directory hyphen server then space lon hyphen ex1. Hit enter at this point here. It'll now do the query and return back the information. And at this point here, we can see the mappy default virtual site on lon ex1 is https colon forward slash forward slash lon hyphen ex1 dot com. And we have currently no external URL associated with this mappy virtual directory. So what we want to do is we want to configure this to use our DNS record, which is mail. Datum.com. So what we're going to do now is we're now going to set the MAPI virtual directory and specify these locations. And we're going to do this by using the set hyphen MAPI virtual directory hyphen identity specifying lon ex1 MAPI default website and we're going to specify the internal URL to be using HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash mail dot and we're going to do the same with the external URL as well. And that's now reported back or has set mail.adatum.com as both the internal and external URL. So all we'll do at this point here is we'll just have a look at this and we'll get our MAPI virtual directory server lon x one and we'll just see what it returns back. And as we can see now it has changed the internal and external URL. Next thing we'll do here is we'll configure Outlook Anywhere and Outlook Anywhere can be used with uh, RPC type clients or MAPI type clients across the internet and it saves us open up loads of ports on the firewall because what we're doing is we're using port 443 to encapsulate that traffic and send it through to our exchange server. So in order to actually uh, manage all of this, I'm going to go to my exchange admin center. Then what we're going to do is just going to come down to our servers tab. And what we'll do is double click lon ex1 because we want to edit some settings on lon ex1. And then within here we'll go to Outlook Anywhere and what we're going to do is we're going to modify some of these settings. So what we want to do here is we want to change both the external host name that users will use to connect our organization and also as well the internal host name. Uh, in a previous demo when we were doing a certificate demo we actually specified that the certificate would use mail.dim.com so we'll modify both of these settings now. Uh, for purpose of this demo, I'm happy with the specify the authentication method. I'm happy with negotiate. I'm not going to modify that. But if I did want to modify it, I could modify for basic. I'd never use basic plain text or we could use NT land manager. So we'll stick with negotiate and we will allow SSL offloading as well. Now we've done all of that, we'll select save. The only thing we look at here is we're just going to come to recipients. We're going to have a look at Alex. And one of the things that we've got with Alex here is you can specify the mailbox features. So what we're seeing here is with the mailbox features, we can specify which clients that our users can then utilize in order to connect through to their mailbox. So what we'll do is come to Alex, we'll just edit Alex. And then what we're going to do when we edit Alex is we're just going to look for the mailbox features tab. So in the mailbox features, and what we can see here is that we can see when it refreshes, we'll be able to see exactly which sort of client connectivity Alex is allowed. So what we can see here, we're not bothered about the sharing policy or any of this rule assignment just as of yet, but what we can see here is under phone and voice features, unified messaging is currently disabled for Alex. Then if we scroll down, we can see for mobile devices, Exchange Active Sync is currently enabled, so you can use mobile devices. Also as well, OWA for devices is also currently enabled because we would disable at this point here. For email connectivity, Outlook on the web is currently enabled for the user. IMAP4 is disabled. POP3 is also disabled. MAPI is currently enabled. And if we scroll it down, there's no other client settings that we need to specify for what sort of clients that Alex can use. That's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.